we have the case of a 54-year-old female patient with typical biliary colic, gallbladder stones and ultrasound, and a cholecystectomy indicated. It's a procedure done under general anesthesia, so an intubation takes place. For our open cholecystectomy, we do a right subcostal incision, cutting through skin and all the muscle layers until getting access to the abdominal cavity. In all open procedures, exposure is very important for the operation to run smoothly. So in this particular patient, we had to extend the incision a little bit for a better view. After ligating and dividing the cystic duct and the cystic artery, we start dissecting the gallbladder fundus from the liver bed. At this point, we had to deal with some bleeding, which was easy to manage. The problem was that we went too much into the liver bed and ran into some nasty blood vessels. With that part under control, we were able to finish the dissection of the infundibula and then remove the gallbladder, which was solid and contracted, probably due to chronic cholecystitis. We also had to release it from the visions of the great amantum. Finally, after checking for potential sources of postoperative bleeding, no bio leaks, we start suturing the abdominal wall. Usually, we do it layer by layer, but in this case, we prefer to do a mass closure with a continuous, non-observable suture. The patient is kept at the hospital for observation in the next few days and will be discharged if everything goes fine.